Welcome to an enlightening podcast from IslamPodcasts.com. We encourage our listeners to please comment and let us know how we can grow in our knowledge to better serve our community. Please remind your family and friends to also visit IslamPodcasts.com for engaging discussions on current events, Islamic guidance, Quran, Tafsir, Sira, and much more. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today I want to highlight an important lesson in Surah Taha that we can all learn from, from ayahs number 125 to 127. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Qala Rabbi lima hasharatani the translation of the ayahs is as follows. He will say, My Lord, why have you raised me blind while I was once seeing? Allah will say, Thus did our signs come to you and you forgot them. So on this day you will be forgotten. And thus do we recompense he who transgressed and did not believe in the signs of his Lord. And the punishment of the hereafter is more severe and more enduring. If you were to put the remembrance of Allah, his deen, following the sunnah, the first and foremost in your life ahead of all the worldly gain, you might suffer some financial loss, slightly less worldly prominence, but what's the worst that can happen to you in this temporary life? But on the flip side, what can happen to you and the worst that can happen to you is a long-lasting punishment in the Akhirah. If you put your worldly desires before Allah and His Messenger, you might get some worldly gain, but you're exchanging that for an eternity of suffering that is more severe and longer-lasting. The Qur'an and Sunnah in certain places talk about specific punishments of the hereafter. Read that and you will have trouble sleeping at night. Yes, there is that encouragement, but there has to be some warnings too. Just to put things into perspective, when you put Allah and His Messenger first, some worldly suffering will come, no doubt about that. But if you know what's waiting for you in the next life, you'll laugh at the suffering of this world. Where did Bilal radiallahu anhu get that type of strength? Being dragged, in, being dragged on the streets, lashed and out in the sun all day long, he said, Ahadun Ahad, remembering Allah, so Allah remembers him on Yawm al Qiyamah. He could have given in, stopped the pain, but remember his deen allows him to stay strong and he will surely be rewarded for that. This doesn't compare to the punishments of the Akhirah. Blessings of Allah eventually do come in this dunya. It's a promise of Allah, but even then, see how remarkable the Sahaba were. They had paid such a hefty price that even when the blessings came toward the end of their lives, they wouldn't take it. They would refuse it, cry over it. When the spoils of war were put in front of them, they would cry and sob over it like children. When asked why, they said, we're afraid that Allah is rewarding us for all of our sacrifice. We don't want it. That's not why we did it. My dear brothers and sisters, I ask you, if you haven't already, turn to Allah during this blessed month of Ramadan. Re turn to Allah during this blessed month of Ramadan. Spend extra time reading the Quran or stay up the extra hours praying at night. Strengthen your connection with Allah. Leave all the worldly distractions behind and inshallah on the day of judgment, you won't be part of the ones making excuses. Jazakallah khair. Thank you for listening to this podcast. Podcasts on current events, Islamic guidance, Quran Tafsir, and Sirah are available at islampodcasts.com as well as on iTunes. Rate, review, and comment and let us know how we can grow in our knowledge to better serve our community. Please subscribe, share, and tell a friend about islampodcasts.com.